Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Brockton High Lady Boxer Basketball. I'm Miles Jackson, along with my partner, Jen Caruso. And Jen, Brockton's coming off their first round by with a big win. Um, how do you see them coming up against this um, number one ranked um, Braintree team? Well, you know, one thing about being a boxer, you're never scared. I mean, coming to a playoff game, your adrenaline's going, your heart's pumping, you got some fans in here. I mean, it is an away game, so it's a little tough, but I think they'll come out strong. Um, big opponent here. I mean, four out of probably the five starters are going Division One to play basketball. Um, they kind of knew that going in, kind of behind the eight ball, but I don't think they should be very intimidated. Not at all. So we're getting ready for tip-off action right now. So let's enjoy this basketball game. And Braintree wins the tip. And it looks like the Lady Boxers are starting off in a zone defense. A little alley-oop, oh, wow. mini alley-oop back out. Three-point shot is good. Number out. 23. Keela Dixon, a sophomore guard wow. for the Wamps. So the boxers have the ball. Long three is Natasha good. Natasha Elias is hot tonight. She starts off first points of the game. Yeah, and we need that from Natasha. Definitely. Underneath. Shot is good. We see that height is definitely going to be a problem in today's game. And that was uh, Brianna, junior for Braintree. Big girl. <laughs> they all are. Jackson drives, puts up a shot, and is blocked. So Lady Boxer will inbound it from the underneath the basket. Lewis looking for someone. Jackson is going to take the three, hits the rim, and back come the Wamps of Braintree High. They get it down quickly. Shot is in and out. Back out. I didn't. I don't know I, if I saw the, a foul there. I didn't see the foul. Yeah. Basically, the ball hit hit the Bra um, Brockton player. So I'm trying to see who's at the line. Number 10, Ashley Russell. And Ashley makes her second free throw. And Braintree's putting on a press early on. That's an interesting technique. I guess Braintree's looking for blood right away. Natasha has it. Jackson with the ball to Natasha. Oh, Got to be careful with that. Got to take care of the ball. No good. Good thing it didn't hurt them that much. Yeah, I'm sure hopefully Natasha learned from that mistake. Yeah, definitely. Y you can't get too fancy. Just play your basic basketball because the Braintree, I can see these Braintree girls, they got long arms, so yes. they can go in there and um, steal the basketball away from you. Mm -hmm. So back outside at the top of the key to number 23. She gets it back out. Long shot is no good. But Braintree gets their own rebound. They have great ball movement. And number 23 was fouled. That's uh, Keila Dixon, and she will go to the free throw line. They're going to call it on uh, Lewis. That's her second foul already with uh, 5.55 left in this first quarter, and she's going to have to sit down. You know, Braintree did start off this game pretty well, but just by this these few minutes, I mean, they look like a beatable team to me. Yeah, if if the Lady Boxers can uh, play their A game, hit some shots, anything's possible. Second free throw attempt, it's good. It's 8-3. Lady Womps lead. 
And it's stolen with that full court press. Yeah, that full court press is going to be interesting tonight. Shot is good. That's a three-pointer by number 11, Bridget Hurley. Hurley, a senior. Jackson throws it way down, gets it down there. And Silver Moore just kind of throws up a shot. She had nowhere to go with it. Oh, that was all ball. And they're going to call a foul on Jackson. They're that was say, all ball. Looked like all ball, but he's going to call a um, hand check. Sort of a ticky-tack foul. You can see the coach for uh, Brockton, head coach April Dingwell, talking to the ref. So referees, right off the bat, calling a lot of fouls on for the Lady Boxes. Second free throw attempt is good, 13 to three. Brito gives it to Jackson, she gets it past half court. They have to take care of the ball here, have to take care of it. Natasha. Silver Moore. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Somehow she got that off, but didn't get close to the rim. Long shot is no good. Rebound Braintree. You know, number 23, Keela Dixon. Dixon. She's, she's a key player. Yeah. Ooh. And they're going to call a foul on Silver Moore. And Brockton smartly cards a timeout with 4.31 on the clock. A 15 to three lead, Jen. Yes. Right now, I think what's hurting them is on the defensive side of things. I mean, the height is, is a problem with rebounds. So we have a uh, service announcement from you. Yes. A well-rounded education is one that is not only academically oriented, but one that also includes physical, social, and emotional development. Interscholastic athletics provide the other half of education. The MIAA encourages you to support your local high school athletic teams throughout the school year. Thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm. And one of the problem the boxes are having is um, that full court press that yes. um, Braintree is putting on. And the problem with it is because they're so big, they got the long arms, Brockton's passing lanes are limited. Yes. So Lady Boxers come back out on the court. We also have to remember that the other night when the boxers were playing Wellesley in the first round of the tournament, Braintree's whole team was there watching. Hmm. It just goes to show you how much the coach for Braintree is very concerned about the Lady Boxers. Definitely. And a second free throw attempt is good. 17 to three with 4.31 left in this first quarter. Lady Box is up by 14. Excuse me, um, Lady Womps. And the shot is no good by... Uh, let's see that works. Wow. Shot is good. Wow. These girls are D1. And it's going to be a jump ball. So be possession goes to Brockton. Scores Brent said something to one of the referees and they're gonna have a little conference. 
with 358 left here in the first quarter. 19 to three, Braintree a commanding lead over the Lady Boxers. So Elias will take it out. Gets it to the top of the key to Brito. Silver Moore with the basketball. Oh my God. And his shot is no good. I think they're getting a little nerve. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> wow. And she's a sophomore, wow. Jen. That's crazy. That's crazy. So Dixon woos the crowd there. Jackson throws up one, hits wow. a rim. And I don't think the Lady Box has gotten a rebound yet, an offensive rebound. Natasha takes a long three, it's no good. Oh, we have to hold on to that. Yeah. Gotta hold on to that basketball. Nadia Montero. Couldn't hold on to it. Silver Moore, nice anticipation. The easy bucket here. There and we go, there okay. We go. So first two, sh well, uh. So 21-5. Yeah. <laughs> With 2.54 left in this first quarter. Yikes. And here comes Silver Moore again, drives to the basket. Shot is no good. Dunk it. Yep, travel. It's good. It seems like the lady box is a little bit nervous still. They Definitely. Or I think intimidated they're intimidated or something. Intimidated, yeah. Because their shots haven't been on on um, on the basket yet. A lot of air balls. A lot yeah, of bricks. Yeah, they're not they're not thinking. They're not thinking. That's a big shot. Ugh, you got to take smart shots yeah, though. That was you can't way rush out. anything. It's only the first quarter. So, nice defense by Silver Moore. Causes a turnover, so it'll be box a ball again. 1.53 on the clock here in the first quarter. Come on, Nadia. Uh, Nadia throws it up again, oh no good. There, you see, I feel like their shots are really sloppy tonight. Yeah. They're kind of getting nervous and just chucking just it chucking up. Chucking it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good evaluation there, Jen, and 133 on the clock. Lady boxers need to just settle down a little bit and just take that open shot when it comes to them. But right now, here come the Branchy Womps. One of the top teams in Massachusetts. Shot is Girl's missed. big. Shot is missed again. Girl is big. How tall, they don't have, no, they don't have heights on here. No. So Molly Reagan, who's one of the captains, hits her first free throw attempt. And makes her second free throw attempt. 23 to five lead. I think another thing, Jen, when they when they take the ball in, they're going to be a. They shouldn't take it in right there in the corner, mm -hmm. because that just gives the defense an opportunity to um, close you in. That's very true. Oh, oh come on! Foul. Who's the foul on? They're going to call it on 
the lady boxer there, number 33? Oh, the freshman. Um, Annalisa Fernandez, yes. Annalisa Fernandez. I, again, I didn't see the foul, but um, they called it anyway. And this has been a, a long first, first quarter for the Lady Boxers. Yes. Um, one of Braintree's key players, number 11, um, Bridget Hurley, is actually coming in with a hand wrapped. That's wow. interesting. Yeah. She might have sprained her thumb a little bit, but yeah. she still wants to play. She needs to watch her back. Yeah. Lady Boxers did a nice job there breaking that press. Aww. And Brito throws it away. I, I thought maybe she should have just took the took shot. Took the shot, yeah. Back again come the Womp with 45 seconds on the clock. Shot is no good. Ooh. And they're going to call traveling. So 39 seconds on the clock. Lady Boxes bring it in. They have to be careful yeah. with that. The pass is going to be much more crisper and sharper yes. when, they, when they're pressed. Wow. And you can see this frustration on some of these lady boxes. Definitely. 25 to 5 with 27 seconds left in this first quarter. And Silver Moore comes out. You know, I'd be pretty frustrated too. I definitely understand. See, we gotta hold on to the ball. It gotta yeah. be stronger. Yeah, you, in, in this case, Brockton really can't slap the ball away. Yeah. They have to grab it because the Braintree team is so tall. Mm -hmm. Any chance you get to get your hands on that ball, you gotta grab it. You yes. can't slap it. So first quarter is is over. It's a 28-5 lead, Jen. What do you tell your team if you're down by uh, 20, 23 points? Well, you know, I don't, I actually have no idea. I mean, Dingwell is a great coach. Maybe she has something up her sleeve. Right now, they just need to get all their nerves out and just play their game. Forget about the crowd, forget about the score, and just do what they know how to do. Okay, so another public service announcement. More than 200,000 students will participate in approximately 100,000 high school sport competitions among the MIAA's 360 member schools this year. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association encourages you to support your local high school athletic programs and the students who participate in them. Thank you, Jen, for that MIAA announcement. So we begin the second quarter. Lady Lady Wamps are, uh, will be taken out at half court. I'm Miles Jackson along with Jen Caruso here at Braintree High School. The second round of the MIAA South sectional playoffs. Not starting off well for the Lady Boxers. Great ball movement. Yeah. You think she can dunk? She might be. She might be a little bit too heavy, but yeah, she can, she can get close. Yeah, that's true. That was good defense for a while for Brockton. <laughs> and 
And there's a foul on number 13. That's on Brianna Hurley. And Lewis will take it from underneath the basket. Natasha's wide open on the right side. They have to see the court better. Yeah. And again, Jackson not doing a good job taking care of that basketball. Lady boxers really have to focus. A lot of bodies on the floor. Still, um, Lady Boxers still don't seem to be in sync. They're still kind of throwing the ball away a little bit, not, yeah. not really looking where they're throwing their pass. Tasha with it, gives it to Silver Moore. She's gonna drive to the basket. And I think she's gonna be fouled. That's not a shooting foul. Lewis underneath. That went right through her legs. <laughs> that was a clever pass. It's just no nobody one picked it up. Yeah. I love doing that move in soccer. <laughs> yes. Oh, you see that a lot in oh, soccer. Oh, yeah. And Jackson's going to take a rest. And here come the Lady Boxes with 6.24 on the clock here in the first half. Long three is no good. I don't know what that was. And they're gonna call a foul on Silva Moore. I, I don't know, she got to the ball first. Yeah. She had her hands on the ball first. I thought if whoever gets to the ball first, but not in the referee's eyes. I mean, it's, it's 30 to five, uh, Jen, and the referees are acting like it's uh, a close 30, game. Yeah, close yeah. game, I mean. And the second free throw attempt is good by Russell. And 32-5 with 6.16 on the clock. This is interesting. Kaffin, three. Oh, it's a little off. That was a good shot. Yep. She had an open uh, look. And girlfriend is deadly. That's Maura Russell, Ashley's sister. And it'll be um, Brockton's ball if they get the possession. I tell you, Silver Moore's uh, really taking a beating out there. Yeah, she's playing hard. I yeah. mean, by the looks of this, Right now, probably what's going through their head is this could be our last game. And she's a senior, so she's going to give it all. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was a good ah. take. Nice play by Lewis. Yeah. Just didn't fall. It's 
to back court. And back court. So good defense by the boxes. Long three is no good by Natasha. Boxes can't buy a shot. Ooh. Nice job by Natasha to get it up there and get fouled. Definitely. Would have been nice if it fell in, but good effort. And a nice steal by number 33, Alicia Fernandez, who, like you said, uh, Jen is a freshman. Yes. And timeout. Braintree timeout with 4.58 here in the second quarter, 35 to 6. A 31, 30, 29 point deficit for the Lady Boxers. Hmm. I don't know how I got up there so fast, but I mean, it is what it is. You just have to keep playing hard and hope that you catch up. Now, during your career playing soccer, was there any time when, I'm not sure what a soccer score could be where you just didn't, you lose all hope, four nothing, five nothing, but have you ever been in a position, your team ever been in a position uh, where the, um, it just looked hopeless. You know, it's funny because my last game as a Brockton boxer was our second round of the playoffs against Franklin High School at Franklin. And at halftime, we were down 3 nothing. Wow. Ended the game 5 nothing. So it, it, it was it, tough. It was, yeah, there was no way. I mean, it got to the point where they were just – now would more they, skilled than yeah, we I agree. Say they were just a better it, team. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't even the heart, the yeah. drive. It's just they were just a better, better team, team, and you got to give it to them. Yeah. And a shot is good by Natasha. You know, sometimes that just happens in athletics. Some teams are more stacked than others are. You can't really do much about that. Nice pass, touch pass. Shot is no good. Got a rebound. It's a good hustle by Janation. Good hustle. Though. Thought there could have been a whistle blown as um, she didn't lose a balance. It was kind of bodies collided a little bit there, but no call. So Braintree with the basketball, 434 left in this second quarter. Braintree wants her in total command. Brockton got away with a foul there. Yeah. Ooh. Just great passing and great ball movement without the basketball for the Lady Womps. Mm -hmm. And shot is no good by Lewis. Air ball. It's a good save by yeah. Natasha. Good, hu good hustle. Wow. That's a good shot by Janesha. That was a great shot. Well, Brockton gets their ninth point with 343 left in this second quarter. Yeah. And Brito gets the rebound. Here come the Lady Boxes. Silvermore it's on a, a mission. And is fouled. See, Braintree uh, High School's got their own little cheerleading section over yeah. there in the corner. <laughs> so, Silvermore is at the free throw line. Doesn't make her first one. And you know she's tired. Yeah. She's giving it her all.
you know, been quiet in this game, uh, except for a few rebounds, is um, Elisa Brito. Yes, yeah. Lady Womps with the ball, 317 left in the second quarter. You can't leave her open. No. She, she, she's um she's on the mark she's out a there. Great player. Yeah, Dixon's doing a great job hitting those threes. Rita with the three. three. Oh, she hits in. She's a she's a big. Usually down low in the yes, paint. Yes, yes. So she gets a big three. 40 to 12. Brockton in double digits. And the Brockton fans have come alive. Yeah. So there was a foul on um, number 33, the freshman. And she takes a break. That's Fernandez. First free throw attempt is good. And her second free throw attempt is good, 42-12. Lady Wops in command of this basketball game in this first half. She got fouled a few times yeah. in there. No call. Here come the Lady Womps. And you could hear that foul up here. Yeah. But you can see the frustration on Lewis's face because she went down in traffic, put up a shot with bodies all over it, and no call. No call. Yeah, same thing. And so I, I can see the frustration and understand the frustration of some of these Lady Boxers. Branchy with the height advantage gets another offensive rebound off the free throw attempt. Ooh, She's nice blocked. blocked. Nice. Here come the Lady Boxes. Silvermore leading the pack. Shot oh is missed. We have to make those. Yeah. Wide open on the three. See, this is what's been killing the Lady Boxers this whole season now. Yeah. I, I, it's, I thought it was an offensive foul. I, I was waiting for a call. I mean, Leaving so, them open on the perimeter. Yeah. And they're skilled enough to take that shot. So here come the Lady Boxers again. Trying to muster some offense. Long Pulls three. It. Good. And she hits it. That was a frustration in yeah. your face shot. <laughs> and they're going to call a foul again on number two. They call on number 24, but she's not even on the, she's not up there. I mean, she's not in the game, Lewis. So they call on 14. 14. They got it right. That's uh, Brianna Santos. One minute, 10 seconds left in this first half. And Brito finally gets a well-deserved breather.
Dixon makes her free throw attempt. 47-15. And they're going to call a foul. So they'll take it out with a minute and nine seconds left. Bad pass. I saw that coming. What are you going to do? Here come the Lady Boxers with less than a minute to go on the clock. 49 to 15. Silver Moore. Tasha. Shot is no good. And it'll be a jump ball. Possession goes to the Lady Wamps. Wamps. Yeah. And Silvermore, she's playing hard. I'm sure she's going to have a few of those um, raspberries on her, um, strawberries on her knees and elbows. Oh, yeah. I hate those. Especially turf burns. Oh. Worse. I bet. Wamps bring it down. Dixon with the ball. Nice pass. Nice steal, excuse me. Here comes Silver Moore. She's taking it on herself. No call. No. Nah. Girls don't dunk. Girls don't dunk in high school. Don't see it often. So back up with eight seconds on the clock. Natasha throws up a prayer it's and a good in. Ball. Good shot there. Three seconds on the clock. Here come the Lady Womps. And that really wasn't a smart foul by no, Silver Moore with only all. a couple of seconds left on the clock. Yeah. Let's see how many she's got after that one. It's That's her second foul. Okay, it's 51-17. They're just um, walking off. They don't really care. Let's see who's on the free throw line. I believe that's number 10, Ashley Russell. She misses her first free throw attempt. And she makes, makes her, her second. second. So, end of the first half, Jen, it's 52-17. That's a hard, that's a rough score. It is a rough score. And honestly, it's going to mess with the boxers' motivation to come out again in second half. I mean, you can see two things. You can see them come out play hard, give it their all, and hope for the best. Or you can just see them come out totally defeated. Okay, there you have it, folks. We'll be back with second half action in a moment. Welcome, everybody, everybody to the South Sectional second round here at Brock, uh, excuse me, at Braintree High School. I'm Miles Jackson along with Jen Caruso. And Jen, it was a tough first half for our Lady Boxers. But if you were the coach, what would you tell them in the locker room? Right now, I mean, 52-17, that's kind of rough. I never want to be the athlete to say, um, just give up. You, you never do that. You come out, you play hard with a lot of seniors on this team. They should come out and play this last game like they've never played before. You, you sound like a true Brockton Pride of course. senior. I am, I am. Tasha with the ball. Almost a carry. Hard pass. Lewis takes a shot. No good. And Branchy with the rebound. Braintree has just dominated on the boards, both the offensive end as well as the defensive end. High pass. Back out. In the corner, no good. Lewis with the rebound. 
And here come the Lady Boxes. Natasha calls for it, takes the shot, no good. And it'll be Braintree's ball. If, if the Lady Boxes takes those three-pointers, I think they should be, make sure that foot is closer to the three-point line, not two or three feet away. Definitely. Dixon inside. Back out. Lady Womps taking the time. Good defense there by the Lady Boxes. Ooh, blocked. Lewis with the shot. No good air ball. And it'll be a jump ball. Possession goes back to the Womps, I believe. Fifty-two seventeen with six twenty-one here in the third quarter. This is Brockton Community Access Sports. I'm Miles Jackson along with Jen Caruso here down in Braintree, Massachusetts, for the second round of the South Sectional Tournament here. It's good. good nice steal. steal. Three is taken by Silvermore. Good. He hits it. Like to see that from the senior. Definitely, it's good. <laughs> Gets the steal and then takes a three. Back come the Lady Womps. Almost a travel. Shot is in and out. Rebound Brito. Back come the Lady Boxes. In the paint, Brito takes the quick shot in and out. We would have got a big roar if that would have went in. Yeah. And the shot is blocked. Womps go inside with the little hooker, good. That was number 13, Brianna Hurley in a timeout with 5.15 on the clock. And that was a pretty good start of the third quarter there for the Lady Boxers. They showed some uh, hustle on rebounds. They got made a few shots. Yeah, I mean, down by 34, it's, it's not impossible to come back. With the energy that they just showed here, I think it's definitely possible that they can do it. And I believe that's why, I believe Braintree called the timeout. So we've got 5.15 in the third quarter. All right. From the MIAA, they would like you to know that the MIAA recognizes the use of mood-altering chemicals as a significant health problem for many adolescents, resulting in negative effects on behavior, learning, and the total development of the student-athlete. Let's help our young people learn the facts about drug use and help them make responsible decisions regarding mood-altering chemicals. Talk about it in your family and with your school. Do it soon. And we thank Jen for that MIAA announcement. So Lady Boxes bring it back down. Natasha with the basketball. Gives it to Silvermore. She drives, shot, stops and pops, no good. Fights for the ball, but Dixon comes out of there with it. And Dixon's been a thorn in the Lady Boxes' side all game. Showing her dribbling skills. Shot is blocked by the Boxes. And it's gonna be the, be the Womps ball. That was good defense by the Lady Boxes. It was. Womps get it back out top. And 
good defense causes a turnover. So Lady Boxers with another good defensive stand come back down and try to put some points on the board. Braintree's defense has been tough. Air ball. Again, a little bit too far out. Silvermore needs to come in a step or two, give herself a chance. Inside. And out of there comes Silvermore. It's a good look. Natasha takes the three. Oh, no good. Off. Back come the Womps. Long shot is no good. No good again. And finally, there's a whistle. And that'll be on Brockton. Lady Womps just in the right place at the right time on those rebounds. Yeah. Even I on mean, the air balls, they're, really they're right tall. there. I mean, yeah. that height's helping them. First free throw attempt is good. So Lewis will get a rest and Fernandez will come in for the Lady Boxers. And second free throw attempt is good. Shot is no good. Civil Moore playing some tough defense. And it'll be out of bounds on um, Braintree, so it'll be Brockton's ball. Braintree plays some good defense there. They yeah, recovered well. Yeah, they've been playing good defense this whole game. That's one of their strong points. So Natasha will take it out. Brito with the ball. Shot that hook is good. shot. Yeah. She, she's liking that hook shot tonight. Yeah, I, I've seen her do that all year. Yeah. Nice shot. 56-22 with 2.46 left in this ball game. Excuse me, left in the third quarter. call a push underneath. I didn't see much of a push, but uh, it was a push. And that was Aaron Greeley at the free throw line who misses a shot. Shot is off. A good save by Nadia. And they're gonna be a foul on the on Lady Lady Womps. As Brito was fouled. You were saying, Jen? No, it was a good save by Nadia. She kicked it back in. Nice job by the freshman. Get in there and get that rebound, Fernandez, and she'll have a chance to shoot two. Her first free throw attempt is no good.
And she makes her second free throw attempt. And there's some bodies on the floor, but they back up. 58-23. Number 11's calling for it. And there's a whistle. Double zero. That's um, Aaron Greeley, who's a senior. So 149 left in the third quarter. And Rito loses the ball. It's Janisha and with that speed again. Yes. Nice job by Silver Moore, and she loses it. And stolen back. Foul. And Brito is fouled. That was a good break right there for the box. It was. So that foul was on uh, Greeley again. That's her third foul. A 58-23 ball game with 124 left in the third quarter. Making all the subs. Whole new lineup. Whole new lineup. And I will mention number 33 for uh, Braintree High School. Allison Dillon is the daughter of one of my co-workers who's here this evening, really? Tom Dillon. And um, so he has a chance to see her daughter get in here to play. That's good. She's a sophomore. Hmm. So, so it's nice to see uh, Allison Dillon. Second free throw is good. So it's a 58-24 boxer deficit. Lady Wops in full control of this ball game. And it's a travel. And the reason she traveled, she was it was tough defense, and she was ready to give an elbow. Yeah. And was thinking about giving the elbow before she realizing she had the basketball sure. and walked. Yeah. So good defense by Brito. And it was blocked. Good defense by um, Braintree. Ooh. Nice D. Nice defense by the freshman. And it's Brockton's ball with 36 seconds on the clock here in the third quarter. Oh, in and Would out. Have been again. Just spun out. Travel. I saw a travel. Uh, I think they're going to call a foul. I saw it travel. Yeah, I saw the travel too. So it'll be a foul on number 33, Fernandez of um, Brockton. Dixon, Silvermore playing some tough D. And she just walks right wow. there. Wow. And the sophomore just walks in and somehow gets it off, gets off the shot, and it goes in. And that's it for the third quarter. It was a decent third quarter for the boxers, even though it's 60 to 24. They showed a little heart. It's just that Braintree's just got some they trees on the team. and They just have talent. Yeah. And they're well coached too. I mean, put and they have height. Put all of them together and that's what that is. I mean. That gives you an equation of um, a blowout. Exactly. The way it is right now, 60 to 24. Also. I, I just want the lady boxes to keep their cool 
in this fourth quarter. Yes. Don't get so frustrated that you ended up getting to the verbal match or something, a little jarring with the other team. Just play tough. But I can tell you, in that third quarter, Brockton, the Lady Boxers played some tough D, and it was frustrating the, the Lady Wops. You could tell they were throwing a few elbows yeah, and, definitely. And, and getting a little rough underneath because they, they were getting a little frustrated. You see, I think with this team, since they are undefeated, I feel like they come into every game and they kind of just get what they want on the court because people are scared of them, they're intimidated, and when they get a team that actually plays hard, they don't exactly know what to do. So I think that if the Lady Boxers come out, play hard, get in their heads, I think they can break them down. We have one more um, MIAA announcement you can give us real quick. Yeah. Have you ever heard a parent say, my kids are too busy in athletics and in school activities to get involved with drugs? Unfortunately, being busy is no guarantee that kids will not experiment or abuse mood-altering chemicals. Take the first step, talk about it in your family and with your school. Thank you, Jen, for that MI, MIAA announcement. And we got two Warriors on the court right there. Arm Silvermore bar. against Dixon. Yep, arm and bar. There's that rule. Yeah. And Silvermore didn't like it. I can understand why. Branchy goes in for the shot. Good. Nice shot by number 10 for um, Braintree. Long three is no good. good Rito rebound. with the rebound. Kicks it back out to Silvermore. Good. She hits it. She's on tonight. Yeah, Silvermore not going down without a fight. 62-27 with 7.06 left in this ball game. Wild shot by Dylan, and here come the Lady Boxes. And Good take by Nadia. Yeah, she did the right thing, go right to the hole, and draw the foul. So that's Nadia Montero at the free throw line. Nadia is a junior. So a couple of the starters, Brito and uh, Silvermore, get a well-deserved rest. Second free throw attempt is good. Braintree taking their time. They've got nothing but time with the lead they have. Shot is no good. They get their own rebound. That's number 10 who hustled in there. Russell in the corner. Shot is no good. Still another offensive rebound by the uh, Womps. Dixon brings it back out top. Shot is no good by Dixon. And number 35, Molly Reagan just muscles her way back up with the shot. Ah, uh, 
The freshman should have used the backboard there, yeah. Jen. And the whistle is blown. And there's a foul on number 14. Pre. Brianna Santos. And Natasha comes out, gets a rest. Again, Braintree works it around, gets it inside, back outside. Shot is no good, in and out. And number 13 is foul with the offensive board. That was uh, Brianna Hurley. So Hurley, he will go to the free throw line, senior. She's one of the captains also. And while we have a moment, Jen, we'd just like to congratulate the boys basketball team for a great season. Definitely, definitely. They played hard. I mean, losing by one point in the playoff, that's crazy. I mean. Very exciting game. Yeah, can't get more unlucky, though. No, you can't. Yeah. I have to say that. No, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Fernandez goes in hard. Shot is missed. Ay, ay. Ooh. Back come the Lady Boxes, 4.39 on the clock. And Braintree slows it up wisely with the lead that they have. They might want to use some of that clock. So they're going to work it around the horn a little bit. And out of there comes the Brockton boxes. Fernandez back out to Shot is partially blocked. And no Beyond call. Foul. And finally, Justice prevails. Number 14 for the boxes. Brianna Santos makes the shot. But right in front of the uh, boxer crowd, uh, Silvermore was fouled and there was no call. And the fans didn't like it. And... Silvermore was pleading her case to the referee over there. So Santos is at the free throw line. Makes her first free throw attempt. It's a three point play she had made. Nice job. 341 on the clock. Left in this second round of the South Sectional Finals. Rito almost still, he Good defense. gets the steal, yeah. Oh my God, and then they gotta be careful with that. Just throwing it away. Ooh. And it'll go to the Brock Lady Boxes. Number 14. Good hustle by... Uh, Brianna Santos. Yes, Brianna Santos, thank you. Came down on her back a little bit, but she's okay. We'll be careful with that. Pass way out. To Silvermore, she's gonna take the shot and oh come on! Wow, C come on! Wow, these reps. That was not a good call. Branchy had her by the wrist and the ref refused to call the foul. Unbelievable! Wow. Unbelievable! Back out top to. And it's an air ball by Silva Moore. And you hate to see that, Jen. I hate you that. Really yeah, because she's that. working so hard. Yes, I mean. yes. 3.05 on the clock. Here come the Lady Womps.
less than three minutes left in this season for the Lady Boxers, who's had, who's had a great season. They have. They just came up against a great team. If I'm not mistaken, Braintree was, well, were the Division One champions last year, correct? Lady Womps, I, you know, I, I, I know they were they were very close. I'm they not were? sure. They were. They were. Oh, okay. Then good, that's good really. Memory. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Then <laughs> that they got them in the second round. That's yeah, that's unlucky. Ooh, nice good. job by Brito. I mean, 66 33. With the talent I see from this team, I think they definitely could do it again. It's good. Nice steal by uh, Silver Moore. 66 35 with two minutes left in this ballgame. You know, and to tell you the truth, oh, I was going to say, maybe the Lady Womps are getting a little tired, but they got their subs in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was jumping the gun a little bit. Oh, yeah. But I tell you what, it's nice to see the Lady Boxes taking advantage. Definitely. When they can. And Aaliyah Brio comes out and gets a nice little hand. Free throw is good, 66-30, And that was number 30 for um, Lady Womps. Long three is in and out. And they're going to call a ticky tack foul with one minute and 33 seconds left. Call that on the freshman, Fernandez. And Aaliyah Brito comes back in. I guess she just got a quick rest, quick breather. Yeah. So the first free throw attempt was made. Did you want to read one more MIAA announcement? Sure, why not? Okay, let's, let's get one we haven't heard before. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association annually sanctions the sportsmanship awards to students, adults, and schools for exemplary behavior. The intent is to enhance the educational ideals sought by the MIAA and to encourage sportsmanship as a major objective in their experience as a participant. This is just another example of activities enhancing student development in a unique and motivating laboratory for learning. Your support and encouragement of these important ideals is appreciated. And that was from the MIAA Archives of Announcements by Jen Caruso. And this is Brockton Community Access Sports winding down this. Why did I'm confused as to what's happening? Is that a tech? Yeah, it's a good question why it's a uh, tech. Why is there a tech? Okay, they call it double technical. On for what? I'm not sure. And Silver Moore makes the first technical free throw and makes her second. And it'll be uh, Brockton's ball. So 69-39 with 133 left in this season for the Lady Boxers. <laughs> and 
And the shot is good by Lewis, three-pointer. 120 on the clock. Lewis dives for the ball. And it's gonna be a jump ball, so it'd be possession for Aintree, but give the Lady Boxers credit for hustling yeah, this last minute or two. And the Lady Boxers start is gonna all come out. Well, some of them will. I mean, they're Lewis. yelling for seniors. I agree. And Brito, they all get a hand. Well deserved. That's that's sad. I mean, I've played with these seniors practically since middle school. I mean, I played on the basketball team freshman year. We played on the same travel team in eighth grade. Some of us went to the same middle school. And, you know, I've watched them grow and develop as players and I mean, I couldn't be more proud of them. Yes, indeed. Coming to the last minute of the season for the Lady Boxers. Season they should be proud of. And rebound. And it's out of bounds on the Womps. So with less than a minute to go, Brockton fans showing some real class. Yeah. Giving their um, Lady Boxers a big hand, especially the seniors. Definitely. Shot is missed. And Jen, if you would just read off the seniors uh, for the Brockton High Lady Boxers. Yeah, we have number four, Janasha Silvermore. Number 10, Natasha Elias. Number 24, Katherine Lewis. And number 35, Aliyah Brito. And they all deserve a big hand for a great season, giving the Brockton community a big thrill getting here to the second round yeah. of the South Sectionals. I mean, us boxers, we always make it to the tournament, which is great. I mean, we don't always come out on top, but we give it a good fight. And, and they did this evening. They, they were they just did. overmatched. Definitely. Um, in this ball game. I mean, not much to say. Branchy's a very talented team. Wish them the best of luck further on in this tournament. I mean, boxers gave it their all and ended their season, but, but hey, I mean, boxer pride. Exactly. We did good. Exactly. So any last comments before we go, Miss Jen? Well, it's a great season. It was great commentating with you. I enjoyed it too, and Definitely. I tell you, good luck with your career thank at you. Brown University. Thank you, thank I you. I might even drop by down there. It was only a hop, skip, and a jump. Okay. And I'll, I'll be trying to keep in touch with some of the um, fans, um, some of the students, and find out when your games are, and right. good luck. All right, thank you. Thank All you. right, there we have it, a 71-44 boxer loss here in the second round of the South Sectionals. I'm Miles Jackson, along with Jen Caruso, bringing you boxer basketball. For everyone back at home, we'll see everyone next year. Good night, everybody.